Here, a suspect violently attacking a Miami-Dade police officer, knocking him unconscious. And the fight doesn't find doesn't end there. Tonight, the top cop is outraged. Local Ted's Roy Ramos is live in Doral to show us this wild video. Roy. Yeah, Miami-Dade police say this was all in the process of the fingerprinting process for this suspect. He just did not want to cooperate, so he began to repeatedly strike this officer, ultimately knocking him unconscious. Miami-Dade police said it was just before 8 Tuesday night inside Miami-Dade police headquarters when an officer is seen fingerprinting a prisoner. As the officer attempts to secure him, surveillance video shows the prisoner begin to tense his arm and physically resist. The officer tries again to restrain the man in the corner of the room when the prisoner begins punching him repeatedly, ultimately knocking him unconscious. There was a fingerprint examiner in the hallway. Here's the commotion, sounds like a scuffle, decides to go in. That's when he observed the subject is kneeing with the utilizing his knee to hit the officer's head. As they're trying to walk him out of that room into the front lobby of the identification section, the subject decides to fight again. Investigators said that officer was rushed to the hospital to be treated for his injuries that included lacerations to his face. Police Director Freddie Ramirez reacting to the vicious attack on his officer and the recent violence against police he has seen over the past few days with this statement that read in part, the continued violence against our law enforcement officers is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. We must come together as one to protect our community and our police officers from those that choose to engage in vicious acts. Oh, well, we're one, and, and, and together as one is how we keep this community safe. And that suspect has since been identified as 32-year-old Nestor Rodriguez. We know he's now in the process of being booked into the Miami-Dade County Jail. As soon as that happens, we'll be able to let you know what charges he is facing. As for that officer, we are told he has since been released from the hospital. Fortunately, he is now at home recovering with his family. Outside of Miami-Dade Police Headquarters here in Doral, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Roy, thank you.